Every year on April 22nd, people from all over the world celebrate Earth Day and support environmental protection. Colleges in the Boston area have shown particular interest in spreading the love of our planet with bigger events in recent years. Eric Van Vlandren, the Campus Sustainability Coordinator at Emerson College, said with finals week quickly approaching, he had to think of an event that would appeal to busy students. And so we wanted to design an event that was low, not low expectation, but in order for it to be a success, we didn't have to have 100 people in a room for an hour all chanting yay to Earth. We just wanted people to be able to stop by, see the camera, and come over, put some ink on their finger, five, ten seconds, be videoed, and then the next person, the next person. Van Vlandren hosted the Green Finger event in Emerson's Piano Row Lobby with the help of Emerson's student eco-reps. The project takes short video clips of people with a green finger and something written on their palm and collects them in a YouTube montage. Many other colleges and organizations participated in this event as well. Maggie Dunleavy, eco-rep and Emerson freshman, said the Green Finger event is only one of the many on-campus Earth Day celebrations. This is our big thing for Earth Day. Um, but we're definitely supporting the other groups that are doing their own thing, too. Other Emerson events for Earth Week included a sustainable smoothie walk, a clothing drive, a used book donation, and a green documentary and PSA screening. Boston University, another college with focus on sustainability, hosted Earth Week events as well, their biggest event being the annual Earth Fest. Dennis Carlberg, the Sustainability Director at Boston University, and Lisa Tornator, the Sustainability Outreach Coordinator, said their green events are a fairly recent addition to their campus. Uh, the first sustainability event was in January 2010, uh, but our first festival like this was in uh, was April 2010. The Earth Day Festival was celebrated last Thursday afternoon in the university's George Sherman Union Plaza. Anyone could browse the vendor tables or vote for their favorite dining hall chowda recipe. Vendors ranged from a goodwill table to BU bike safety to train gum. Train gum was founded by Sam Singer in 2012. The organic gum is made with only five ingredients and the packaging and gum itself is all biodegradable. Singer said he enjoys sharing his gum with colleges. Uh, the one at the med medical school was really good. Uh, there were a lot of, lot of people, a lot of people tried to go, and I like that a lot. With all of the festivities going on on college campuses, Carlberg and Tornator hope to bring awareness to the issues of sustainability we as a world and community are now facing. I think one of the primary goals is to bring everybody together around sustainability and how to live a more sustainable life. It's uh, really about education and awareness. Um, with our community, um, as well as the general public, um, to bring awareness to issues of sustainability and climate change, and um, what, like I said, what the average individual can do on a daily basis. For JR 366 Environmental Journalism, I'm Alexandra Felicia.